I knew she was hurting. I felt like I needed to be her rock. It really, really did take a toll on me. You shouldn't make yourself feel guilty about it. You have to try and move on. I'm Liam, I'm 30 and I'm from South London. There's a big part of my life I've kept from my family and I think it's time to reveal it. We do have our connection, me and Liam. He is a good shoulder to cry on. He's always there for me. So I want to reveal to my mum exactly how I felt after my dad passed away. It was definitely the toughest period of my life. What they didn't know is how isolated I felt at the time, how depressed I started to feel. I did feel as though I needed to hold my feelings in because I needed to be there for my mum, my brother and my sister. I didn't want to put any more burden on the shoulders of the people I loved. I really want to have the opportunity to discuss things in a way that I feel like I should have a while ago. I let things overcome me, overwhelm me at the time, didn't really speak about them and I think now I have that opportunity to do so. It was just a very hard time for all of us. Liam sort of stepped into that role, you know, of always calling me and asking me, how am I doing? Mum, are you OK? Are you OK? He is my rock, you know. My mum and I have always been close. This is a part of my life that she would have liked me to share with her at the time. I knew she was hurting. I felt like I needed to be her rock. I definitely do have some fear that she will feel some sort of guilt, but I'm also hopeful that once I've explained everything, that she will understand why I did what I did. Hi, Mum. Hi, Liam. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. Two years ago, we went through one of the most difficult ordeals that any family can experience when Dad passed away. Yes, why not? I've always known how much you've dealt with and this time I just felt like I needed to be the one that shouldered your burden. It did make things difficult for me. Do you want to share it now? Yeah, I mean... Come on. What I wanted to reveal to you today is... <sighs> the passing of my father is something that really, really, really did impact my mental health. I just remember feeling so down. What I felt like doing was closing myself off from the world. I became really depressed, and this is something that I decided to keep to myself. Why did you find it so hard to express how you was feeling to me? Dad's death in a nutshell, hit me like a ton of bricks. Not only had I not seen him in months, but I knew he wasn't doing too well before that. So it was that, that knowledge that he was alone and isolated. It was feeling as though telling you or revealing it to you would be burdensome and not wanting to put that burden on your shoulders. Yeah, but you know you'd never be a burden, no matter what. I felt lost, you know? This whole feeling like, Liam, you got to keep this to yourself now. Like, there's, there's no talking through to your mum and telling her that you're depressed. It's not going to help. But you know, I was always there, you know. It was it's like, just taking on everybody else's problems. The hardest thing about that entire situation and what made me feel so awful is that I didn't get to say goodbye to him. No. That's something I have to live with and deal with for the rest of my life. I hadn't seen my dad for a number of months leading up to his death. I should have been there more. Where his dad's not around, he's always been big brother, but like dad as well. Maybe he was not letting go of his emotions as well in what was, what was happening with us. I felt guilty and I think that's a, another reason I, I just didn't want to Talk to you. How can I say, you know, I, I, I love my dad, but in these dying days, I wasn't even there for him. He did experience 
some difficulties due to some uh, some hardships he had with alcohol that later on led to him having health problems. You was there for your dad for the longest and he would always come running back to you with every single problem he had. Liam just felt that he has to be this strong person all the time. He doesn't have to, he can actually let his feelings, you know, go. And maybe today we will be able to get that bond that we haven't had for a while. It hurts, it hurts a lot, I know. I but the guilt is something that you can't hold in you because you don't have anything to feel guilty about. You've always been there. You have to try and move on. How do you feel now? <laughs> Since I could wait, lifted off my shoulders to speak about it to you after all this time. But I'm happy that you're speaking to me now. I am, I am really happy. It was never you. Never ever made me feel like I couldn't open up to you. I just didn't know how to speak to you without feeling as though I was offloading it all on top of you. And it's, it is a really. I'm happy. It really takes a lot of courage to speak about things like this, Liam, and I'm really proud of you that you have opened up and expressed your feelings to me. I think it's just been another blessing today to be able to talk to you in depth the way I have today and just really tell you how I felt. Yeah. Uh, and I definitely think our relationship would be stronger because of it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. For us moving forward, I've learned how important it is to just share how you're feeling with your loved ones and just the importance of understanding how significant mental health is and how important it is to look after your mental health. I would love for people to take from this that when you are suffering from the loss of a loved one it is good to share how you're feeling with the people that you love i love you mummy i love you liam <laughs> and you know i'm always there for you whenever you need to express your feelings to me i'll always be there